have like an effect, whether it's a reverb, short delay, whatever the fuck, to kind of create ambience or like space. So it sounds like the guitar is sort of in like a different room environment, something like that. That's something I could definitely do later, but I don't just throw a reverb plug in on the track. Like I would put it on the fucking, you know, a ret send return kind of deal so there's a balance between the reverb. Um, I, I would be really confident that I can make that happen later. Yeah, so, okay. Something that just kind of gives it a little more definition, a little more depth. I just, I just, at all times, would love to avoid anything that's gonna muck things up. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know what you're saying. I just don't want something that's just gonna have a, yeah, yeah. You know, like a loose. Also, I'm not, yeah, I'm not dead set on a, a um, specific. Any of the clean thing. stuff, like yeah, whatever it takes to get the tone right. If the reverb yeah. pedal is what makes the tone happen, whatever. You know, um, I don't really ever, you know, run towards a reverb pedal for guitars, regardless delays, other shit. Love it. That fucking thing. Really want to hear. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. that's I'm the sure thing. You, do like, you should do like four wanted. tracks on that. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah, like four tracks and something else. How do you think that compares to line six, though? Man. My influences are not Dave Grohl. Not Dave Grohl. No, no. I listen Mark to Nevermind. The drums oh, suck on that. I listen to Nevermind. You being today. sarcastic? Nice fucking guitar. Oh, hey, look at him dancing. Oh, look at this guy. Nice fucking guitar. Hey, you promised.